Hello guys, this is Konyango TV. Welcome. We have our YouTube channel that is Konyango TV. Subscribe and watch very many inspiring speakers and so many nice stuff there. Having heard from this beautiful lady Vera, I was pushed to ask a few questions, but first, I am Sophie Miller. Yes, Vera. Mm -hmm. uh, your experience is so touching, but again, I love the courage you have. I want to know more about this foundation. Okay. Is it? Uh, did you start this this uh, foundation because of what you went through, or rather, did you start this foundation to empower ladies not to go through the same experience you underwent? Mm -hmm. The hardest thing to do is to advise a woman or a lady that for that matter who's in a relationship it's very hard but you know it works at a point mm, i was motivated to start girl Freak foundation because of my own story i don't know what somebody else is going up out, about, about outside there i don't know what people are going through but at least i know i'm going through i, I went through something and i know that is somebody who's maybe going through an even worse situation than mine. So I was motivated because of my own experiences, like the sanitary towers. I've also been in a situation where I don't have access completely. Mm -hmm. So what if we all came together for, for a good cause, for a one cause, to help the community, to give back, mm -hmm. even if we don't have much. But the little you have, the little somebody else have, the little I have brought together can put a difference into somebody's life, can touch a soul and smile. Uh -huh. yeah. Again, you say that sometimes that you also need to donate like a hundred pieces. To this extent, who has been funding you? Because you said you're a student, yeah. and then you're a mother, yeah. your son needs your attention, you also have expenses to do, and then there you are, you want to donate like a hundred pieces. Who funds this? Mm. One thing, when you pray over something and your soul is passionate about it, you want to make it work, you'll go to any extent to have it happen. And when God gives you a people in your circle that are so positive about whatever that you do, mm -hmm. that see potential in you, God will always touch them to touch you. Uh, you know, I, the first donation that I ever did, mm -hmm. I, I was even surprised myself. You know, no, nobody, okay, social media has become so bad that whenever you post that you need some help, people will take you for a con, a con lady, a con man, whatever. But I was surprised that I just posted this on my Facebook account mm. and people reached out. I even have had people reaching out after that event. Like, you know, I'm sorry I didn't participate in your previous event, but maybe you can tag me along in your next event. And I was like, why do people trust me this much? What kind of love is this? Mm -hmm. I was so touched. So, so far, it's my Facebook friends, mm -hmm. my maybe few friends that I know in person. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Maybe I'll also thank uh, our current women rep, mm -hmm. uh, Homa Bay County, Mama Gladys Wanga. She's been so supportive. Mm -hmm. I'd also thank uh, Commissioner Florence Oma. She's aspiring to be the women rep 2022. Mm -hmm. She's been so supportive and positive. And yeah, so far those are the people that have, that have touched me so much to touch others. Okay. Yeah. So the next program, when are you planning to have your next program and what are your expectations? Okay. Now, uh, you know, doing such projects, whenever, like, if you want to make it a habit that anytime you want to do a project, you reach out to people, they become tired of you. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, you're a beggar. So I have another project on Monday, mm -hmm. this coming Monday, mm -hmm. 20, 28th. Yeah, 28th, Monday, February. Mm -hmm at uh, Maigo Primary. Mm -hmm. I, they invited me over for a talk with their girls. I'm looking forward to donate to them. They're not so many in numbers. I'm looking forward to a fruitful engagement with them. I have another program on 6th of March mm -hmm. at uh, Maigo Technical. I don't know why it's assumed that because they're in college, they have very easy access to sanitary towers. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they don't. I've shared with a number of them. I've been in close contact with a number of them. Mm -hmm. They are pouring out their stories to me because they trust me. Mm -hmm. 
and I feel like they need these things as well. So I'm having that program with them on 6th, uh, 6th of March, mm -hmm. Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I hope it will be good as well. Uh -huh. such, pro uh, such projects or other programs are also conducted in the county governments. Have you reached out to an organization of the same? Mm -hmm. I've not been in touch with uh, any foundation that has a good, for, uh, a good uh, laid foundation. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've been in contact with other upcoming foundation. I have a friend within Homer Bay mm -hmm. uh, is is yet to register uh, legally, but he's also been operating. Uh, we part we're trying to maybe partner and work in future future events. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, this thing is hard because I also deal with men in a way. We talk about H STIs, HIV and ways of prevention and all that but whenever you get to these county hospitals some county hospitals the response you get from them is not so good like i remember at a point i went to the, the referral hospital mm -hmm. i needed some condoms for a for a program mm -hmm. and uh, i was insulted so bad mm -hmm. by the nurse there and he ended up, she ended up giving me about two, 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 two boxes mm -hmm. but i felt like you know my personality was insulted mm -hmm. So it's also very hard just getting to these people directly. Some of them won't see the potentiality of whatever you want to do. They won't see the goodness in it. They're like, you're spoiled. And I'm like, how? So, so, like so you far... So, how many boxes that you're being given to at the end of the day? Because at that time, I told her that I'm having two projects and I expected like maybe a full carton or something. Mm -hmm. But now, the, the, you know, the kind of... It doesn't matter even if you give me 10 cartons, but the attitude with, you, with which you give me this, the heart that with which you give me this matters a lot. Mm -hmm. So I didn't feel so good. So moving forward, I'm looking for people who are just starting, mm -hmm. not people who maybe laid very strong foundations. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm not blocking those who want to chip in and help me, mm -hmm. who have maybe good connections, good donors that can give more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'll really appreciate if I can get that. I love your effort. Uh, does you. this foundation, are you registered legally? Mm, I said it's a newborn, it's like just a, a new so baby. So I'm in the process of registration. You know, these things again require a lot of finances. Yes. So I'm in the process, but I'm glad I got somebody who is willing to tag me along. Mm -hmm. He's also going to register a different foundation and he was willing to tag me along to Kisumu over the same and maybe help me with the registration process. So I really appreciate that. Uh, you're saying you had two projects that you needed condoms and you ended up getting only two boxes. Yes. Did you try reaching other hospitals, public hospitals, or you just, uh -huh. your, having felt that your personality had been insulted, you had to end it at that? Uh, I think I'd appreciate Makongani Subcounty Hospital. They were so good. Mm -hmm. uh, as much the, as they couldn't give me a lot, they gave me about four, four, four packets, mm -hmm. but uh, they were so positive, and uh, I, at least they saw the goodness of whatever I want to do. And um, I also appreciate uh, Clara Millicent. Mm -hmm. She's the queen of condom, Homa Bay or Nyanza, I guess. Mm -hmm. She's been supportive not once, not twice. She's always been there as a bigger sister. Wow. Yeah. I love your personality. Thank you. Now, given opportunity, whom do you think you can tag along and maybe uh, may come up positively to support your foundation? Maybe one, two or three, if you have in mind that you can tag along? Um, like, uh, uh, at what level? At whichever level. As so long as you, you think they'll be positive about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe one, mm -hmm. I'll talk about the the upcoming, upcoming, okay, maybe let me just say ladies in their 20s and 30s, any. Mm -hmm. As long as you're positive about this, you, you seeing potential in it, you seeing it get to another level, you're highly welcome and I really appreciate you. And then, so like uh, you don't care about the status also? I don't care about the status, whether married, single, financial status, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you can't support me financially, mm -hmm. but you're so good in public speaking. You can go out there and talk to the girls and they can get something from you. Yeah. Maybe if I'm going somewhere, maybe you tomorrow girls can tag you along, go and talk to these ladies. Uh, uh, financial wise and or maybe um, 
in, in terms of materials, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd direct this to women in leadership positions yes. or women who are aspiring to be in leadership positions. This may be county, MP, whichever. Mm -hmm. This is a course that you should see a, a purpose in, a meaning in. Mm -hmm. and. It's not something that should be left to, to, to go to dust or to go to waste. As, as, a, as a woman, to get to that level where maybe you're in a bigger position, at least you know the challenges these people go through to be there. Mm -hmm. How about you join hands and you know, just carry us there? Wow. Yeah. I love meeting these ambitious woman, Vera. Thank you. And uh, God willing, I also wish to be part of your uh, program given opportunity you're highly welcome and then again i also want to appreciate the strength of a woman in you thank you because i believe your son is even smiling wherever he is i have a strong arm sure uh, yeah my generation will be somewhere yeah i also appreciate the attitude you've shown to us the same in your next programs god given opportunity uh, whichever support even a physical attendance is a support. Yes. <laughs> so whichever support that may be available, count me in. Thank you. Thank you so much and uh, see you some other time. Thank you. Okay. Maybe my parting shot would be uh -huh. to, 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 to parents. Make your kids that close, both male, female. Talk to your kids. Discuss the challenges they go through, everything. Mm -hmm. And then again, for, for us as mentors, we go through a lot. Imagine having had having maybe ten people or even twenty mm -hmm. sharing their painful stories to you and you can't help them. The best you can do is maybe cry with them. At the end of the day you also need somebody to, you know, talk to, mm -hmm. cry on, give your shoulder to lean on mm -hmm. and just open up and tell them, you know, I also want to cry. I'm I'm a very emotional person by the way and you know at times I I, I even post it on my, my media handles many times. Mm -hmm. The days when I wake up and I just want to cry. I just want somebody you know, to talk to. Crying. Yes. And I don't have anybody to, you know, talk to, open up to. So I end up getting into my bed, my pillows knows my tears. So Sure. We also need people to, to talk to, so let's just be a family, be close, be social, relate well with people, give people a chance, listen to their stories, and you know, it's for the better of all of us. Thank you. So, you can find Girl Afrique Foundation on Facebook, mm -hmm. Girl Afrique, Afrique with A-F-R-I-Q-U-E. Mm -hmm. My own media handle is uh, Awar Blacky, Awar A W O R Blacky B L A C Q U E. Mm -hmm. You can follow me there. My personal contact is on my profile, and I really appreciate. Thank you so much. Thank you.